So I do not recommend ordering a $290 fan motor. That's just going to crap out in a few months, maybe. Um, those universal evaporator motors will fit. You do have to uh, make it work. But uh, take those two screws out, boom, boom, and then it bolts into the back. And uh, it's got little grommets front and the back. You do have to wire it into the existing harness, but man, so these much. motors bad. They are very expensive. So, what we've done is take and put a regular motor, 110 volt motor in its spot. Um, you do have to reverse the rotation. And these are the little evaporator motors I was talking about. Comes with all these little fittings and junk. You don't need none of it. This is the motor. Two wires and it has the grommet mount. One grommet there and one grommet on the back. And you break these little ears off. There's no polarity, you know, blue and, and uh, red wire. Just one to one and one to the other. You do have to change the rotation. So you would take these screws out here and flip the armature to where it's pointing the other, out of the other side. But that's really all it is. You know, 30, 40, 50 bucks versus 290. That's ridiculous. We've shipped those little replacement universal evaporator motors across the US because ain't nobody buying a $300 motor for a $400 refrigerator. That just don't make no sense. But a $50 motor, that's doable. If you need one, message me. Uh, if you, this has been helpful, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.